Neptunium, element 93 on the periodic table, was discovered in 1940 by Edwin McMillan and Philip H. Abelson at the University of California, Berkeley. This breakthrough came through the bombardment of uranium-238 with neutrons in a cyclotron, resulting in the creation of Neptunium-239. The element was named after the planet Neptune, following the convention of naming elements beyond uranium after celestial bodies. This discovery marked an important milestone in the understanding of nuclear physics and the development of the periodic table, showcasing humanity's ability to unlock and harness the power of the atom. Before we dive into today's exploration of the mind, do us a favor, hit that like button and smash the subscribe button below, ready to expand your mind. Let's dive in. Properties Neptunium possesses several notable properties. Physical properties Neptunium is a silvery metallic element that tarnishes in air, similar to other actinides. It has a melting point of 640 degrees Celsius at a boiling point of approximately 3902 degrees Celsius. Neptunium is a radioactive element, and its isotopes have varying half-lives. Chemical Properties Neptunium is highly reactive, especially in its higher oxidation states. It can form compounds with oxidation states ranging from plus 3 to plus 7, with the plus 5 oxidation state being the most stable in aqueous solutions. Neptunium compounds are mainly studied for their role in nuclear chemistry and technology. Radioactive Properties Neptunium isotopes exhibit radioactive decay, emitting alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma radiation. Neptunium-239, for example, undergoes alpha decay with a half-life of about 2.36 days, transforming into plutonium-239, a crucial element in nuclear reactors and weapons. Uses Here are some of the uses and properties of Neptunium-93. Detection of high-energy neutrons Neptunium is used in devices called neutron detectors, particularly in applications where high-energy neutrons need to be detected. Neptunium-based detectors can efficiently capture these neutrons, allowing scientists and engineers to study nuclear reactions, radiation, and perform neutron imaging. Precursor in plutonium production Neptunium-237 can be irradiated in a nuclear reactor to produce plutonium-238 through neutron capture and subsequent beta decay. PU-238 is used as a power source in radioisotope thermoelectric generators for deep space missions where solar power is not feasible. These RTGs have been crucial in powering spacecraft like Voyager, Cassini, and the Mars rovers. Fuel in nuclear reactors Neptunium itself can serve as a fuel in nuclear reactors, especially in fast neutron reactors. Fast reactors use high-energy, fast neutrons to sustain a chain reaction, and Neptunium's fissionability makes it suitable for these reactors. Its use as a fuel can help in achieving higher energy output and reducing the amount of long-lived radioactive waste generated. Potential for Nuclear Explosives Neptunium is a fissionable material, meaning it can undergo nuclear fission when bombarded with neutrons. This property theoretically allows for its use in the production of nuclear explosives. However, due to the complexities and dangers associated with nuclear weapons, the production and use of Neptunium for such purposes are strictly regulated under international treaties and agreements. Harmful Effects Neptunium is indeed a toxic element with a long half-life making it a significant contributor to radiotoxicity in the future. It's highly mobile in deep geological repository environments and lacks any biological role. Studies suggest that it's not absorbed well by the digestive tract and can be slowly released if concentrated in bones. Additionally, powdered neptunium metal poses fire hazards due to its pyrophoric nature, igniting spontaneously in air at room temperature. Thanks for exploring with us today. If you're hungry for more videos, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Until next time, stay curious.